Hello and welcome to this video. Today I have a new microphone. It's a Rode PodMic. I got some feedback on a previous video and that my sound was not so good, which I can understand. Uh, I was just using these uh, earpods and they are not the best. But now I'm trying a new mic. I have not received a mic stand yet, but uh, hopefully soon it will arrive. And today I'm going to talk about this um, phone, the Jolla phone. I hope I pronounce it right. I would say Jolla, but I also got feedback on a previous video that it's and when I said uh, Jonathan, the Swedish pronunciation, that it should be Jonathan with a J, with some D sound as well, I know. But I might uh, mix up here, I, I don't know, uh, we'll see. I f for me it sounds more natural to say Jolla, but uh, maybe for English speaking people it will be Jolla. Here we have a different angle as well. But uh, let's stay here. So uh, we're going to look at this phone. So I saw it on Hacker News. They talked about the new Jolla phone. A lot of comments. And uh, you can pre order it. Uh, it's for $99. You pay now, uh, but the full price it will be $499. But you pay 99 now when you pre-order and then you pay the rest uh, later. Estimated delivery by the end of first... What can that be? I don't know. It's a quarter. I think I read quarter somewhere else, but... Uh, oh, I don't know. It's next year at least. And they have some pictures here. I got some feedback in the comments I saw about this notch or with the camera that's standing out. Here they have some other pictures and uh, I saw that there was a forum thread on their forum um, where they uh, asked their uh, users uh, like what they want to see, uh, what, what specs. So it's uh, people from their own community who uh, voted on this. And uh, there is not that much information here on this site. Uh, a little bit of the specs. Uh, somebody commented uh, about like the uh, CPU. I have no idea what this is. And uh, yeah, but in general, it's not that much information here. I think that's a bit bad. And also, like when looking on their website here, here sailfishos.org. So Sailfish is the operating system on uh, their Yolla phone. Uh, but when you look here, like you can see text, but I don't really get the feeling of how it is to use the actual phone and the operating system. Uh, so I think that's a little bit lacking. Uh, here I talk about uh, the emulation uh, layer that they have. Um, so you can run uh, Android apps. I am actually like very interested in uh, Yolla phone, so I consider pre-ordering this as well. They need to have at least 2,000 uh, pre-orders for them to start production of it. Uh, but I'm a little bit unsure uh, how I will like this. Today I'm using an Android uh, Google Pixel 8 Pro phone, which I'm... Uh, quite happy with but I would like to use something more that is more feels more like a Linux than uh, what I have now and that is feels more open uh, and that's yeah also one uh, like downside with uh, the Jolla phone um, so like they build on a Linux tech stack but uh, it's not open source uh, visually what you see but it's the Linux kernel and system D and Wayland and uh, yeah, you have these open source components, but uh, like the interface uh, that is uh, uh, still closed source, so like that's one downside. But it still feels more like a real Linux than uh, Android, I think. Uh, so you have pictures here. Selfish 4, I think Selfish 5 was released this year. And it feels like it's not like completely up to date uh, here. Maybe, I don't know. Goes on and on with pictures. 
And like when you navigate here, it's like text. So I think they should have worked a little bit more on this to more convey the feeling because uh, people they talk so much about the gestures that they are supposedly so good on uh, Yola phone and to make so much sense. Uh, but yeah, you don't really get the feeling of it by just looking at these abstract pictures. And uh, like I searched on YouTube as well, Sailfish OS 5, I was a bit interested. But uh, like first, like you see that videos are quite old. Uh, some are newer, but it doesn't feel like there are that many users that are posting that much about the Yolla phone, sadly. And... Uh, when you look at it, uh, like here is posted from Yolla. That exploit as well. And without sacrificing your privacy. Yolla C2, you can capture stunning photos and videos with 64 megapixel main camera. 16 so yeah, that's the previous phone, it's not the, this model they are selling now. Camera. We are developing together with you, Sailfish OS Chrome uh, memory card. Thus, you being created. Oh, but uh, again, I don't really get the phone feeling of how it, is it to use the phone uh, by watching these videos. I saw uh, one woman here, uh, she uh, switched uh, to Yola more because she wanted to use European tech and avoid American tech. So that's why she uh, was using Yola instead of Android and iOS. Uh, are different than Android in a lot of ways. And you can see in the menu here, you have a very... And it seemed like she liked this, but uh, maybe it's a little bit limited. Uh, like I try to understand, uh, like, is there a terminal on the Yolla phone? And when looking at videos, it's again, like something 11 years old. Uh, and then uh, like in this video, you don't even get to see is Also, you like, wh where is the terminal? I wanted to see what it looks like, but it seems like uh, I will not find it here. Uh, apparently there is documentation here as well. Maybe in developer mode. Okay, maybe, uh, yeah. Here we have it. Here, documentation about Sailfish OS. And uh, in Sweden, uh, we have something called Bank ID. It's uh, for uh, authentication on uh, a lot of governmental websites and private companies like banks and uh, other services. Uh, so if you don't have Bank ID, uh, like you cannot do much in society, sadly. So, and Bank ID, uh, they only have apps for iOS and Android, not Selfish OS. There is this emulation layer for um, Sailfish OS, uh, so you can run Android apps. And, and like here's a long thread about people. Uh, oh, so somebody had an issue trying to get it running, and I think in the end he managed to get it running. Uh, so that's good, but uh, like oh, just trying to understand uh, what apps are available. Uh, I searched here and co come to this page. Somebody else uh, wondering uh, what apps are there. And then he got this as an uh, example, openrepos.net. Uh, so if I look here. Uh, people say here that the, there is no, like, uh, th there isn't a website for the Yolla store, so you cannot browse the apps online. So I don't know what this open repos is. You're using RPM packages uh, on uh, Selfish, as I read. Uh, so maybe you can install regular uh, Linux packages if they're for ARM, I suppose. Um, but uh, yeah, I don't know what, what really I am looking at. Are these uh, like apps that work on Yolla phone or not? I, uh, yeah, I'm a bit unsure. And uh, I'm using Telegram uh, with my family. And I used Google for some Sailfish OS Telegram app. Like I found this GitHub. But like there are no pictures, I think. 
I don't know what it looks like. It last released 2023. I found some other repository here. Six years ago it was the last release. So it's uh, based on some library here. So if we look, I looked at this library and you can see it's a fork uh, from here. Can we come to the... Uh, I don't know if I can navigate uh, out here. So it's from Telegram. They have made some cross-platform library for building Telegram clients. And uh, apparently it seems to be like very cr cross-platform. And um, so, yeah, I, I think it's a bit, lit, a bit difficult to understand how many apps are there for Yola phone and uh, will you be able to get by? When I'm thinking about Android and I, I thought about like, it would be cool to switch to a, a feature phone. And uh, yeah, not uh, use my smartphone, but then I'm also thinking like I need uh, my uh, phone for uh, banking and um, payments and uh, for public transport and parking apps and uh, for bank ID for uh, authentication and uh, there are all these apps that I rely on and uh, that wouldn't work on a feature phone and I guess the situation is a bit similar with the Yola phone maybe they can be installed with the Android emulation layer but if you're going to emulate all apps like what's the purpose then even though I am interested in the Yola phone and would like to run it, but just uh, how much sense does it make? Maybe it makes more sense to use like a Graphene OS or some other uh, custom ROM on an Android phone. But uh, I, I am uh, interested in uh, Yola phone and I'm thinking um, if we go back here to the browser. Here, uh, like you can... Uh, I'm a little bit interested in their SDK, so it's uh, you develop with QML, uh, so it's like Qt apps, when you can code in uh, uh, C++ and Python apparently, and they have uh, some tutorials. Uh, like if I go back, uh, like your first app, and here they tell about uh, like how to install the uh, development environment and. Uh, if we go down here, it was something, uh, yeah, they, they have like an emulator and then you can run your app and, uh, and uh, in some sense, it would be fun like uh, as uh, more like a hobby or side project to maybe try to build some app like with the te Telegram. I, I don't know how up to date these apps are, but th there was this uh, library that this app was using from Telegram. And uh, I'm a bit interested in SIG and that programming language. Here I found some QML bindings for SIG. I don't know if it's possible to compile SIG for uh, um, ARM and uh, Yola phone. So that's something I would need to find out. But uh, regardless, like with the SDK, maybe it's fun to just build some app uh, since th there seems to be so little available. Or, like th there's a big open space for just uh, developing like low hanging fruits. Uh, although uh, oh, like building a clone of Telegram, uh, it sounds like a quite big project, but maybe you can make something small uh, at least or use uh, AI to get some help and uh, maybe it can be a bit faster. So maybe that could be fun, uh, I think, but then uh, oh, is it like a hobby and how much time can you spend on it? It would uh, like be nice to be able to monetize it somehow. And uh, But if the user base is so small, like, uh, uh, yeah, uh, can you really expect to like make a living uh, of it? Uh, if we go here, Yola phone, then they are from uh, November 2013 when they released their first phone and since then they've released a few other ones for a while uh, they made uh, sailfish uh, available on some xperia devices and here they have the yola c2 community phone but yeah now it's the upcoming phone here so they have some history and i've heard about them in the past and i have been interested for a long while uh, 
Um, but uh, yeah, it seems like they have their dumb sounds. Also, when reading the comments here on Hacker News, uh, uh, like uh, somebody commented about the browser engine. Uh, if we go down, oh, here. It's some old Firefox slash Gecko fork. Somebody saying. Uh, oh, so like overall, uh, like uh, seems like uh, maybe it's not the most polished experience. Maybe I don't know. But at, at the same time, uh, at, uh, at the same time, I am interested in. Uh, buying this. I might uh, pre-order. I, I haven't decided yet. Uh, I would like to run something else than uh, my Android phone and maybe uh, uh, it will be difficult to replace Android completely due to like the need to have bank ID and uh, other apps. Uh, but I think with my next uh, phone uh, and then um, Maybe the like future will be to have two phones, uh, like uh, one bad, poor uh, Android phone just for the essential apps there, but then maybe one other device that I actually like and will use for a majority of tasks. But then I've also thought maybe having a mini micro p uh, laptop in that case, uh, like the say GDP pocket laptop, it's like seven or eight inches or something. I think that one uh, looks interesting. And uh, maybe I could do more browsing on that instead of, of a phone. But uh, if I were to use a phone, something like this could be interesting. In the past, I've used uh, Firefox OS uh, on, uh, for like a year or two or something. I think I was using that phone. It was quite bad. Uh, and uh, But uh, then I was also using an uh, Nexus 7 Android tablet. Uh, for other things, but for the, like the actual phone usage, then uh, it was uh, um, yeah Firefox OS phone, and uh, that worked for me back then. But uh, it was quite some years ago, and I think my reliance on um, apps sadly is a bit higher today. So uh, yeah, we'll see. But uh, I hope this gets funded, and uh, I'm yeah still considering if I should uh, join as well. Uh, let me know in the comments uh, what you think about the Jolla. I think it's an interesting project and I'm happy in that uh, they are still around, that they've survived. It's, uh, when reading the comments, it seems like it has been a very bumpy history with uh, devices that haven't uh, been so easy to manufacture and sell. So, uh, yeah, let me know in the comments if what, what you think about Sailfish OS and Jolla phone and uh, if you consider uh, pre-ordering and what do you think.